it's Donna and I'm here with my two girls. Kyra. And Lily. <laughs> and today we bring you a new adventure, an excavating adventure. All right, so the people over at Excavating Adventures contacted me to see if I would like to review one of their boxes. Um, essentially, they sent us one for free so that we can show you what is in it. Um, from what I can tell, Lily's gonna give you a description in a minute, um, but it looks like a really cool thing that you can get sent to your house every month. Um, this is a great idea for those that are even considering doing some homeschool options in the fall. I think this would be great for your science classes and for your kiddos if they're doing homeschool or doing any type of cyber options. This would give them some hands-on learning as well, from what I can tell. But we're going to open the box here in a few minutes. We're going to show you what it's all about. And actually, Kyla is going to test it out and let us know. Um, but Lily, do you want to go ahead and tell us a little more about the website? So basically, the monthly subscription is $26.99 a month. And then get an awesome new excavating adventure delivered every month designed for anyone who loves exploring and collecting amazing scientific spe specimens. Each month, you will discover new rocks, fossils, minerals, gemstones, seashells, as you enjoy unique and exciting adventures created oh, only for the most curious and adventurous minds. I'm gonna dig it up. This is... <laughs> you gonna dig it up? You gonna dig I'm it gonna, up? I am gonna dig it for it. <laughs> okay. That's the bottom of a top. I don't know. Is it what doing? <laughs> this is an inexpensive and unique okay. gift that will excite and entertain while also educating. Every specimen comes in a collectible identification card. Okay. Collect 10 new specimens every month and watch your collection grow. So it's free shipping in the US, I think. Yep. And then, so they have different themes that you can choose from. And I don't first, know if you can choose them though. I think oh, they, they're like just sent to you is what I'm on. I don't know. That, <laughs> but they could be different themes. So the first theme is the outrageous rocks. Second theme is the fossil find. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Underwater Expedition is the third one, Mineral Mind is the fourth one, Dinosaur Adventure, Meadow Mania, Seashell Research, that sounds fun, and Geology Quest. So there's a whole range of different yeah. things. Um, sorry, I don't know the answer to that. This is all new to us as well. We're just kind of reviewing it with you guys. Um, you can also cancel or change your subscription anytime is what the website mm -hmm. said. Um, so we think it's really exciting, something new, something different. Um, so hopefully you guys will feel the same way. So are you guys ready to dive in? Oh, I forgot yep. to say. So um, also they are being kind enough to give us a code. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. So if you've never done this before, please make sure you click that link and also use the code Happy Excavating, and I'll leave that in the descriptions as well and you'll get $5 off your first box, so why not, right? All right, and if you've ever used this yes. before, we would love for you guys to leave a comment below and let us know if you've ever done anything like this before. Maybe you've bought one of these in the stores before and you've used them, and you can let us know how this compares to that as well, so. And if you have any more questions, just go to the website and they yep. can probably answer all your questions. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and dive in. So it comes in this nice box. Um, Go ahead and open it up, Kyla. Let's see what they have. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we got the gemstone journey. Oh, so there you go. So this is the gemstone journey. I love um, Which is one it. of the ones Lily was talking about. <laughs> um, and a cute little sticker that you can put somewhere. You want to have that sticker? Yes. <laughs> Your little one can put it on. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. So it comes with a whole bunch of things Whoa. in here. I'm trying to get the cam camera lighting correct. Um, but it looks like there is a... Oh, so that's the card that they're talking about. So that card basically has all of the different gemstones that should be in your excavating yep, a kit. a whole variety there of the gemstones. And oh. on the back, it talks about how to do this. Um, it basically says, use the tools in the small envelope to scrape away, uncover, and examine the specimens in the excavation tin. Use the polishing rag, moist towelette to clean your specimens. Use the pictures on the front of this card to identify your specimens. Store your specimens in the plastic collector's box. Oh, cool, so it awesome. gives you a collector's box. Yes, yeah, so some, somewhere to keep it instead of a little baggie or something, you've got an actual plastic container. That's cool. Um, open the envelope of trading cards to explore the information on the back of the cards and then store the cards in the plastic binder sheet. So I'm assuming all that's in here. Um, select your favorite specimen and put it in the cardboard display box. Oh, there's even a little... Wow! We'll get to that in a minute. We'll pull everything out. Once you've completed all of the above steps, place the Gemstone Journey Passport sticker. Uh, oh, hmm, maybe there's a different one in here. 
Um, on the one of the question marks on your excavating adventure passport. So I guess each time you get a different. Oh, so you get like kit, a pass. That's cool. You do each one. Store this identification card in the plastic collector's box to identify your specimens. Wow. So that's neat. So let's see what else. So there's like a brown envelope in here as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in here. These are your collector cards. Yep. Is that what they called them? Okay. These are just all the different um, types of cool stones that can be in your box. And then it also has the points on the back. I guess yeah. if you actually wanted to trade them with people that are also doing this, that's kind of neat. And the different descriptions of what they are. So that's it's cool. Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon, of, the Pokemon of the rock world. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are the little tools, Kyla. Look, there's a little oh. magnifying glass. It's perfect size for you. That's cute. Oh, set up on the table, hon. Can you show them? Can you show them? There's a little brush <gasps> so that you can brush off your specimens. All right, there's also like a little wood digging tool. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like some fresh nap, probably to wipe off the yeah. rocks that we find. So that is really cool. So that's all of our tools. And then this, oh, there we go. There's your gemstone journey. There's your um, passport sticker. Cool. And then it's got this nice little display case that you can put your favorite one in. So that's really kind of like a jewelry case. That's neat. Hello. Oh, here's your <gasps> passport. So we can put our stickers on that as we finish this up. It's really packaged really nicely. Oh, and here is your binder sheet that we're gonna put all of our trading cards in at the end. So that yeah. is really, really cool. All right, and then last but not least, the most important thing is oh. your digging tin. This is really Whoa. heavy, actually. Really? Yeah, it's really, really heavy. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. How cool is that? <sighs> so you can actually see some of them peeking through the top there. Um, it just looks like a hardened material, like a sand concrete type thing. So let's lay that there for a second, Kyla. Let's move some of these things out of the way. That sounds fun. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah. Let's take it up. Go ahead. All right, so now Kyla is going to start digging in. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Hard so Lily is using the hard side of the brush, which also <laughs> works. So if you have two children, you don't have another digging tool, you can also share the box. Not yet. I can't find any. This one. I did see a tip in somebody else's video that you can use a little bit of water to also help to free some of them loose a little bit. I need some water. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh. That did you find shiny. anything? You gotta use the tool. I found something. Okay. It's kind of hard to believe that all of the stones are in here though. It's a really tiny 10, but so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten types of stones in there. And a tiny little tin. There's snowflake obsidian, orange calcite, amethyst, topaz, emerald, ruby, and sapphire mix, tiger's eye, citron, garnet, and am amazonite. I'm sure I'm spelling saying some of those wrong. <laughs> The website does say that it's for six plus and Kyla's only four, so she does need a little bit of help, um, but I still think it can be a fun learning tool for your kids. This one, oh, golden, golden. I like that it takes a little bit of time to do as well. It's not clicking mm. over and easy. Sometimes you buy the crafts in the stores and things like that, and they're yeah. done. So they're I like that you have like to kind of work on this a little bit, um, and we're not gonna bore you through the whole thing, I don't think, but no. we'll at least show you at the end what we discovered. Um, so yeah. we'll start working on these, and then we'll show you what we find in the pouch. This was the first stone that we found, Kyla. It was the purple stone. It's called the amethyst, right? Yeah, it's called the amethyst from the, what is it again? So it says it's the purple variety of quartz and the most valued member of the quartz family. Amethysts are found in Brazil, Uruguay, Ontario, and North Carolina. Amethyst is the birthstone of the month February. <laughs> all right, so we are all done digging out the tin, and we found tons of gems. I'll show you here real quick. So here are all of the really cool gems that we found in that little tiny tin. I mean, it's just amazing, all the different colors. What's your favorite one, Kyla? I like this one because it's really, really glittery, because it is the, what is it again? The Emesis. 
purple amethyst. And did we look at the different cards? We got a good variety of everything. We've got to sort them out into our 10 real quick. We're gonna do that here in a few minutes. Now, one tip that made it a little bit easier is we did add a little bit of water. So I'm glad I saw that somewhere else. I um, mean, that made it so much easier. It almost made it like a sandy, wet type condition. Yeah. Um, and it made them come out a lot easier. I will tell you, there's a lot yes. of tiny, tiny, tiny ones in there. So if you wanna make sure you get all of them out. See how tiny, tiny, yeah. tiny that is? Don't dump them in the trash can yet. So we've been putting them on paper towels and pieces of paper so that we make sure we don't throw them all out. So that's how we got so many in here. So please be careful. There are a lot of tiny ones and there's a lot of nice sized big ones as well in there. So I'm pretty impressed. Um, the other tip is that we put them all in there sandy in the little tin again and added a little bit of water in there, closed it, and then Lily shook it over a closed sink um, a whole bunch of times. So it kind of rinsed it um, out a little yep. bit to get them cleaned off really easily. So that it was easier and we didn't have to use the wipe. Yeah, there is still a wipe there, so mm -hmm. if you want to get the last little bit of dirt off of them, we can, and we may do that for some of the bigger ones especially mm -hmm. to get them polished up and look really nice for the display case. So so overall, what did you think, Kyla? I am really impressed. I'm really impressed. What did you think, Lily? I'm very impressed. I'm impressed on how many oh, gems came in. I was yeah, expecting like one gem and it was going to be like really tiny, yeah. and considering the size of the tin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so many came in it. Yeah, so you've got a huge variety of ages here. You've got 12 year old, you've got a four year old here. Um, so it's great for all yeah. ages and a fun thing to do with your family. Again, I'll leave in the description box the link uh, for the website as well as the code to get $5 off your first box. Make sure that you leave some comments below if you've ever done something like this before, like we talked about earlier. We'd love to hear your feedback. Um, also make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Till next time guys. Happy, Happy excavating! excavating.